everyone welcome back to the channel it's Sissy and tarot today we're going to jump into your video uh this is for scorpio scorpio welcome back you guys it's been a while um since i i feel like it's been a while since i did a uh face-to-face -face video for you guys i've been doing the hands a lot so um let's get entwined with your energy scorpio i feel like there is a couple messages here for you that angels want you to be aware of okay so let's just jump into your energy when it comes to love but i'm also going to channel a lot of energy that is not particular to love but you know messages that you need to hear so let's see what we have for you and if this does resonate remember to like the video give this video a big 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 thumbs up here on the channel Thank you guys for all your love and support, by the way, um, through the months, through the years, through the last couple of um, weeks. Um, thank you for all your love and support. I really, really do appreciate it. And it just, you know, it just gives me that vibe to just come back on here and just like make a video and just be in this positive energy. You know what I mean? So, whew, thank you. All right. Um, let's see what's going on for Scorpio here. You know, I've been getting like this hermit energy, you guys, where there is like this, this feeling, this lingering feeling within yourselves, like, like you need to like step back and reflect. But this is also so much more because I just feel like it's uh, an energy where you need to connect, you know, to connect to something bigger than yourself and to try to get some kind of understanding. So this might be appearing to other people, like if, you know, you're distant to yourself, you don't need to be bothered. Or some people might be thinking that you might be feeling like you're better than someone, the way your energy is. It's like one moment you were in and then the, then the next moment you're like out. Um, and you're just trying to find out what does Scorpio really want for themselves? What does Scorpio um, is missing in their lives? And I feel like you're just taking that reflection taking some time out for yourself and just being in your own bubble and your own energy and trying to get that message from spirit, from the angels, from the Lord. Um, you know, a lot of you are just really like worried about the future, you know, worried about what's next, worried about what's coming. It's a lot of worrying because it's a lot of work. You're, 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 you're doing a lot of work and a lot of you are not seeing the results quickly or fast enough. This is what I'm seeing. So it's like, you're taking this this time to reflect, to reflect, oh my God, to reflect on yourselves and see what's actually out there. Why my glasses is looking like they have this like round thing around them. I'm looking at myself. I'm like, oh gosh, but you're taking the time to reflect, you guys, reflect on yourself, or reflect on your energy, um, and it just might appear negative to other people, like you're distancing yourself, but you're just you're trying to do what's best for you. You're trying to see the light at the end of the tunnel through this through this time that you're going through if that makes sense okay all right so tell me more for Scorpio wow the lovers so this is about a relationship or a connection this is about something very strong um I feel like you guys come off to be a little similar like you, you feel like you know this person like you had some kind of past energy with them before maybe in a past life like the time when you met you just felt like everything was just right like oh my god you have to be around this person this was a desire you couldn't um stay away from each other this is what i'm seeing here okay um but i feel like why am i getting a lot of you might not be ready for this you know this connection here because you're distancing yourself or you're taking a step back from this connection to like reflect and find the answers. Is this right for, for me? Is this what I'm supposed to do? Is this person supposed to be my life? Like you're trying to figure out if this makes sense, why? Why? Okay, so you have the seven of pentacles and you also have the king of cups here. You do wanna give this person some kind of like commitment, you know, but there's some kind of energy where this person is not really giving you the satisfaction that you want from this relationship for you to to feel like it's okay it's okay to let go it's okay to you know give this person your heart to trust this person you do you're very open but something is like really affecting you here where this person is just it's like they have everything on the outside but when it comes to the inside it's just 
it's it's not feeling like it's 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 you're stable, you know, with them. They're coming off as a player like energy or someone that might not be ready for a real commitment. Like you're not sure. Hmm. Wow, the nine of pentacles. You feel you're feeling powerless here. You're feeling like you're losing yourself, like you're losing a lot of things around you. <clears throat> A lot of you could be with this person and you're losing a lot of money as well. This is what I'm seeing here. It's like this huge investment and you're not getting anything in return. You're just losing a lot, but there is a lot here. There is this dream here that you and this person could be together, you know, and it can actually work. It's like I'm getting like you're not like this energy of like, I don't want to let go of this, but I have to reflect on myself. I have to like take a step back from this because this is really hurting me financially, um, physically, emotionally, okay? Tell me more. For Scorpio. Ooh, okay. The Magician. Wow. So you're looking into like power, you're looking into spirituality, you're taking a step back, like I said, for some of you, you know, you want to hear this inner voice, you know, speak to you, to tell you what to do, to guide you, um, and you're waiting for it, you know, a lot of you are really looking into the stars and feeling like this divine energy, like this overwhelming energy of protection, you know, and you're just waiting for things to, to like come to the surface, like, to actually be revealed to you in, in a form of way, you know? It's like meditation, manifestation here. Like you're just doing this inner calling, this, this, this like peace. It's like I'm getting that um, card, ask your angels um, for the answers or something like that, or answers when you ask your angels. But I'm getting that, like ask and you shall receive form of energy. <laughs> so just know that everything is going to be okay but it's just not going to come to you at when you want it it's like one day you're just going to be sitting there and it's just like oh my god there it is that upload you know from the universe okay so a lot of you could be i'm getting gemini a lot i'm getting gemini in this magician here also virgo okay and i'm also getting gemini in the lovers and i'm getting virgo again in the hermit so a lot of you could be dealing with a Virgo or a Gemini, okay? Okay, there is um, a contract coming up. There could be a child involved. It doesn't have to be, but there could be a business or a home that is also coming up here, okay? There is a family tree that is coming up here. Like you want to, hmm, some of you could be married as well. This Ace of Pentacles that's coming through here. There's a form of a foundation. This is what I'm seeing, like a foundation, a legacy, a family tree. And you're kind of torn. You don't know what to do. You feel kind of restricted. Like you don't know all the facts. Like you're waiting for the truth. You're waiting for everything to be revealed to you. You need to make a decision and you don't know when when this when this decision needs to be made. It's like you're indecisive, you know? That that, that energy of being indecisive. <sighs> like we have the Ten of Pentacles here in the upright. We have the Knight of Wands, all right? I don't have my glasses on. I'm just like looking at the cards, making sure that that's what it is. I have the Ace of pentacles and then we have the beautiful um eight of swords okay in the upright and oh lord i just feel like there's an immaturity here that you want to address with this person and you want to get over this you want to have this you know okay this aha moment this peace this like okay this is what we we need to work on you want to be able to say that okay you guys can work together with this but the energy that I'm picking up is something that is very immature. Like this energy is very immature. So it's very hard for you to communicate, to talk to this person, to get your point across. Because they have this power struggle, this ego energy that they're keeping, you know, in the situation. It's like, it's about me. It's not about you. And they're kind of like blaming this all on you. Like you make everything about you. 
you know, why can't you just see where I'm coming from? You know, it's like most of the time I'm hearing that you might have to stay quiet. Like this person just don't want you to have any kind of opinion at all, you know, and just stay quiet. But that's not healthy. Um, but there is this contract here that I'm getting, you know, the Ten of Pentacles, okay? This legacy, something that is already built. But there is a lot of issues, you guys, when it comes to money here, when it comes to time as well. You know, things that have been placed in this energy have been worked on. It's like you're look, looking at your foundation falling apart, but you're trying to hold up something that is very important to you. This could be your home, okay? That is very important to you, and you're trying to hold that up. Out of anything else, you're trying to hold that up, okay? I don't see a separation. We have the Ace of Pentacles here. I'm just seeing like this. Um, And the funny thing is you have the Lovers here, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Upright. There is... There's a conflict, but there's like, there's a not knowing, you know, is this over? Is this not over? Are we still together? But this person is just not there. That's just the energy that I'm picking up, you guys. And you're like, you know, you have to make a decision for yourself when it comes to clarity, but you just don't know how to do it. Because you're waiting for some kind of. You're waiting for some kind of breakthrough, you know? You're waiting for the, the truth about this. Tell me more. But in the meantime, I'm seeing like you're working on taking back your power. Okay? Time. The Four of, the four of Cups. This person is not around. They're just not around. And why am I getting like, this person is not around, Jay, to make this relationship even be better. Like, you're trying to hold up what you can here. Thank you, angels. We have the Knight of Swords. We have the Seven of Cups. Ooh. And the Two of Cups. Let's see. Let's see. There's things coming to the surface in this reading now. You know? This I don't know. This restriction. This going through something and waiting for something to actually have a breakthrough. Waiting for the clarity of it all. This is what I'm seeing here. And now everything is coming to the surface. So this person is not ready. Just like you said, they're not ready to have a relationship. Don't know where you lie, Scorpio, in this reading because I'm I'm feeling another energy coming through now. Okay. Alright, so and you feel like you know there is no communication with you in this energy as well because of this person's attitude, their coldness. They want to do what they want to do when they want to do it, you know? Um, they're in and out of this connection. This is what I'm seeing here. A lot of you could be living together, but there's another connection. And it's not just one, it's many. It's many. This person is diving around other options. This is what I'm seeing with this two of cups here. And they're being, con it's like they're connecting to this other person as well. You know, they have a lot of feelings towards you. And it, it, it really does depend where you lie because I have two different energies. One is based on physical um, physical relations. So you could have basically started off with just sleeping together and then it kind of developed into something more where a lot of investments were being um, made here. A lot of um, money was being spent, you know, a lot of trials and tribulations with each other, like experiences. And I feel like along the way, someone lost themselves in this relationship, in this energy, okay? And then I'm also seeing the Ten of Pentacles, where it's this same energy is trying to hold up this household, hold up this foundation. It could be because of a contract. Like, you know, you have the Ace of Pentacles here, and then you have the Ten of Pentacles. For some of you, you could have been married to your twin flame, all right? Or the relationship was based on a physical attraction that developed into love further you know ongoing but then the relationship started to stagger like wow you don't know where you are like what is going on this person is not even around time this person in time it's like they're just not around to invest um and it's like i'm getting this coldness this cold energy a lot of you could be with the gemini 
um, that is also coming up here, okay? Gemini and Virgo, all right? It's very strong here. And then we have the Knight of Swords again, which is Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra energy. And this person is coming off really cocky, really jealous, um, really stern. Feel like you can't get your point across or your, 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 your thoughts across because this person constantly shuts you down for some reason, right? And there's this other connection here in the upright. So you're in the upright, they're in the upright as well with this um, other connection. And there's other choices that I'm seeing here where this person is like, I am good. Like, I'm not even overwhelmed or confused about this situation. Like, I'm good kind of energy. So it's like they're playing around. They're still searching for something, okay? All right, so tell me more. They're looking at this. I don't know where you are because, I mean... It's both strong connections here, you know, it's both strong connection here, just based on it just developed into something different over time, you know, um, they're both looking like, you know, they see themselves in you or they see themselves in the other person. Okay. There's going to be some kind of conversation where you're going to put your feet down, finally taking back your power in the queen of wands, in the queen of swords, excuse me, I'm thinking about wands, but the queen of swords here. All right. And there is going to be some kind of communication here, which is going to be great. This is what I'm seeing here. It's just like, it just needs it, guys, really. This connection really needs it. Tell me more about this for Scorpio. All right. We have the Wheel of Fortune, okay. We have the Four of Swords. More. I feel like you're over this situation, but at the same time, you're waiting. Yeah, you're waiting in the Four of Cups. I just got back to the Four of Cups after I finished doing that layer of rated, and that's what happens when the angels like push you back to a message that you need to know. But it's like your energy that is coming off. It's like, yeah, you're over this. You have these feelings, but at the same time, it's like, you're waiting. You're waiting for answers, you know? You're waiting for kind of like to free yourself from this or trying to free yourself from this. But there is going to be a, a breakthrough. There is going to be a change happening here with this, this Wheel of Fortune. I feel like because you're putting your feet down, you're being very stern, you're trying to listen to what this person has to say. And then you're trying to also um, be the judge and jury, you know, with this situation. You're not trying to judge them in a harsh way. You're trying to see... What can we do here? What can both of us do here that can actually work this, you know, make this better? Because you're not with the nonsense. The Queen of Swords is, everybody's saying it's a bitch card, but it's, it's just that damn, like, what else can you take at this moment? You just need some kind of clarity here. And you need this person to understand where you're coming from. And this is really like that force of energy of like taking a risk, you know? But I feel like you're going to do a good job. But when you do find out about this, it's like you are going to be, again, in the hermit mode, you know? You know, protecting your mental state, trying to make better decisions here, being on your own, in your own bubble, and not ready to talk to anyone and have anyone in your business as well. It's like as fast as this was moving, you guys, there is going to be a delay because of this energy. You know, I feel like it's a, you're trying to process the truth of what this person is going to tell you as well. Um, and because of that, this relationship is going to be in a pause moment. You know, it's either it's going to be dimmed, like the light at the end of the tunnel. You won't see it. It's going to be very far away. Or you're going to make your own escape, your own freedom, um, you know, trying to get out of this, trying to really just protect that mental state of yours. And... Um, or you're just going to be like, you know what? I need some time. I really need to get away. I need some time to reflect, to heal. A lot of you might be taking a trip on your own. I'm seeing you solo. That's just what I'm seeing. But you're going to be losing a lot as well. Why am I feeling like you're holding up this household or you're holding up this relationship because of going to be lost? Like a lot of you could be married to this person, honestly. Or you feel like you have... I'm getting like joint accounts, you know, I'm getting like, it's like, it's not going to be easy. This is what I'm hearing. To separate, 
So you're trying to keep that together. Tell me more, please. Okay. We have, wow. Okay, the Three of Wands. Wow, the Pisces energy and the Hangman here. And then we have Virgo energy in the Empress. So you need to know your worth. And I feel like this is something that you don't know. And I feel like the angels want to share this with you. Like your worth is very, very important. Um, they want you to know that you are beautiful. This is how this person sees you. Even though you're going to go through a lot of transitions in your life where I feel like you brought the abundance, you brought the financial success, you brought a lot of things to this person's life. And because of this separation or whatever you're going to be doing or whatever you're going to be choosing because of the situation, um, it's going to affect you. But I feel like the angels want you to know not to worry because whatever you're going to lose, they're going to guide you because this is who you are. All right. So you're going to be OK no matter what you decide. And you need to believe that. But I'm also seeing the three of wands here and then the hangman. A lot of you, this person is pointing fingers. A lot of you, this person is not taking responsibility. Um, and you need to watch out for the manipulation technique, okay? Because they're not coming towards you. They're like watching you from a distance, you know, with a hangman here and a three of wands. Just watching you float away, watching you move on. And they're ready to actually reach out to you and to talk to you and to make things right. I feel like this person's like, okay. I've been lingering for way too long in this calm moment waiting for this person to actually take the responsibility of this relationship, even though this person's energy might be at fault, okay? But they're waiting for you. It's like a technique. Don't react to your emotions. And Pisces are really, really good at that. So this person could have a lot of Pisces in their chart as well. When it comes to their emotions, they're just like wearing this, this mask, you know, in the moon, wearing this mask. Um, and you don't know who you're dealing with. You don't know this this person's face. Um, they could be happy and they look so mean. And you just don't know how to read them, you know? They're wearing this mask. So I feel like this person is ready to reach out to you because, of course, you're coming off as the empress, okay? You're coming off as someone that they know that, of course, there could be children as well because they're looking at you as someone that bear their fruit or could bear their fruit, you know, create life together, and they're really solid and happy about that process. Um, for those of you who did experience that, this is what I'm seeing here. But I'm also seeing like this person, um, even though they know they're wrong, they tend to point fingers and try to turn this around on you. So you need to really watch out for this energy. All right. Do you know what I'm going to do? Let me get some messages here. I'm going to the mini deck. And then we want to incorporate the black deck. Like I'm going to try to see what this person wants to tell you really quickly. For Scorpio. Okay, it's not all about money. Ooh, remember I talked about money? And this person is letting you know, like, it's this relationship something here to do with money you guys and this person is coming out talking about it's not all about money it's more it's, it's this has so much more layers that they need to heal from so much more layers that you guys need to discuss it's something to do with the foundation of money though like someone is overlocking that this is about money and they're saying no it's not please don't what is it please don't forget me Ooh. So someone is talking about separation here. This is what I'm feeling. And this person knows it. This person feels it. And they're like, please don't forget me. <clears throat> you know, I just feel like this. Oh, my God. I'm getting this really strong urge that this person made a life beyond you. Like you guys are together. Someone lives together. <clears throat> but they made a connection out of the relationship with someone else that they are they're like they they really like as well so they created pisces energy they created um a situation you know they had a situation with you that they needed to deal with and they created a worse situation you think i don't care someone is definitely feeling like someone doesn't care here like they're like, you think I don't care. 
but the gag is I do. There's a card that flipped. I'm trying to find it. Okay. I'm trying to change. So this happened more than once. I'm trying to change. This person is saying this happened more than once. Because for them to try to change, obviously you experienced something else with this person before. And this is the choices, the situations. So this happened more than once. The cycle and the Wheel of Fortune as well. And this is what you're talking about, you know? You need this change. You need this change from the cycle that you and this person is going through. Wow. And that's the conversation. It's like you're done with the nonsense. You're like, okay, is things are going to get better or what? What what do we need to talk about separation? But I feel like with the separation is just so much more involved. Because I'm getting I'm looking at this and you're like trying to keep things together. Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. Okay. We have we can't talk anymore. We can't talk anymore. So there's definitely communication issues. But looking at this, you know, this person is coming off very immature for you. Very, um, like, they could be an older energy because of the King of Wands, but they're in reverse. So it's no confidence, okay? They're not a leader. They're more like a follower. Like, you know, listen to what this this is happening over here. This is what's more important. They're not being focused on the situation in front of them. It's like they're focused on everything else. And it's kind of hard to like deal with someone like this. And then they're acting like they're, they're coming off as player vibes. You know, like they're just not ready for a commitment or a relationship. Okay. I can't try. I Oh, I'm sorry. I can't read. I tried to tell you, and I wrote this. I tried to tell you. So they're saying they tried to tell you something before, but the words just didn't come out. You know, I feel like this person is, again, a coward. You know, someone that is a coward, female or male, doesn't even matter. Um, you're my sugar. Obviously, there is a strong connection between you and this person. Please make love to me. Oh, so this even got cut off. For some of you, you haven't even had made love to this person in a while. You haven't touched them. Um, you kind of haven't received them in a while, like because of the, the disrespect. So you can't receive this person. And it's reflecting on the relationship. I don't know how to feel. Wow. So this person is in and out of their emotions as well. This is what I'm seeing here. Tell me more. I need one, two, three, four, five. Five more angels. Thank you. Let's see. Okay, so they're saying your friends are making problem between you and them. Okay? They're bringing up some kind of friendship, some kind of connection, some kind of a drama with, you know, your family tree. Like, they have influence over you. I don't want this. So something is happening between you and this person where they don't want to continue this. I'm seeing that, like there's a problem. There's communication issues. They don't want this. They never did. So there's a card that actually fell to the floor. This is a huge cycle confirmation about the cycle, you guys. This is a huge cycle. And I brought that up before for this Wheel of Fortune being here. And you're, you're wanting a change. You're communicating this to this person. If you don't change, it's going to end very badly for us, you know? Tell me more. Wow, trying to be more positive. All right, so this person is trying to change their ways as well. Trying to like really hope in the universe that everything is going to come together. We have two more. Okay, please slow down and I'm missing you. So something is happening very quickly, like this person is feeling like you're moving on very quickly as well. I'm just like, please slow down. Please slow down this, this, you know, the things that are occurring, the things that are happening, the things that you're deciding to move forward with. They're not ready. 
Why am I hearing like someone is saying they're not ready? Well, they should have thought about that before they did what they did. <laughs> <laughs> the power so there's a power struggle here between you and this person it's like they want to be in charge you want to be in charge but you don't trust them so that's why you're taking charge of this situation this relationship for some of you this could be an Aries that is coming through as well we have Aries here okay but you have an inner calling about something about this situation like you just feel like your intuition is like you're going through this transformation you know this but there's an inner calling that's happening here okay like you just feel like something is off like you just see something like a vision like you're just like know everything that's going on it's like in your intuition like you just know everything that's happening like you are staying very silent and you're having this cunning like this um calling okay so tell me more okay communicate you guys wow wow <sighs> communicate is coming up so this is an issue with this relationship it's like one person is communicating instead of two this is what i'm getting okay then you have the death in scorpio that's your energy you're going through a huge transformation, Scorpio. Look at that butterfly. You're going through a huge transformation. This is happening. You're moving forward. You're ready to fly away. For those of you, you're ready to explore what's out there for you, what's new for you. It's like you're not stuck, not in your mind anymore. You're not trying to be. I'm seeing freedom. Wow. Wow. Um, a lot of you are going towards something bigger and better. This is what I'm hearing. Sorry about the birds. They're so loud. I hope it doesn't bother you. But you're going through something bigger and better in your life. I'm seeing traveling here. Okay? Ooh, excuse me. I'm seeing traveling here. I'm seeing this is going to be something good for you. I feel like the universe is lining up for you within this situation, but I'm also seeing balance here in Libra, okay? All right, so everything is coming together. I'm seeing yin and yang, you guys, but you need to just keep doing what you're supposed to be doing within this life. Can this chair go up? Oh, yeah, it can go up. Why was I sitting down this low all this time? <laughs> this chair could go up even more you guys and i've been like sitting like this all this time crazy so tell me more kindness wow a lot of you need to remain kind need to be understanding need to be on ser at service just don't forget your kindness okay don't forget who you are i'm hearing love is your energy okay and nothing else no matter what people are trying to tell you there's something going on with your family this is coming up again because i felt like this person said that something about your friends and i brought up family too okay your friends are making problems but with this card when i touched it i felt like the vibe with family friends that they had their two cents or trying to try to cause some kind of conflict here so watch out for that hmm That we're always remember to be kind, okay? Because the angels are watching. Okay, let me see. Because you do have the angel card here too with the judgment. So let's see what we have when it comes to the angels around you in the situation. Because I feel like you're moving forth, like you're moving forward within your life. There's no energy where you're going to be stuck like a permanently being stuck that's not what it is what you don't see is that this moving forward energy okay and i feel like that is the message for those of you that are worried you know because you're kind of in this situation in this energy right now wow angel of inspiration this has been coming out a lot tell me more please 
it's like you're feeling like inspired you're the flame the flame the fire that has been missing in your life for a long time it's like being renewed this is what i'm seeing here and you're kind of like being like like you're getting this energy of being open again and being free again and just exploring so a lot of you could be thinking about going on a trip or meeting new people or experiencing new things taking back your power in your life because for some reason i feel like this energy that you've been around try to take away your independence you know the form of a, a way to be free and to explore um it was a struggle communication wow so there is going to be communication coming towards you all right and i'm hearing communicate clarity and this is coming up three times already you have the queen of swords okay where i feel like the reason why this is coming up is because you've been quiet for so long and trying to not say the wrong things and this is why you kind of like stayed to yourself within this energy with the hermit not really speaking a lot of you could be um fasting as well and not saying anything um and now the angels are saying eh, it is time it is time okay that's what i'm hearing here communication tell me more oh angel of past lives so you feel very very like wise and um entwined with a lot of different energies you just feel like over like this huge of overload is coming into your your um your subconscious so you might be having a lot of dreams about a past situation that feels so real as well and you feel like this was a past life like things that you have been through and it is you know you're you're seeing this and you kind of feel like you are for some reason you're going through something but you feel very strongly like you're going to overcome it and that's because of your past lives your past experiences and you know how to deal with it this is why a lot of in the readings you either come up as the queen of pentacles you're coming up as the empress here okay the empress here which is a huge form of power a huge form of luxury you are sitting on your throne there's so many people that want to be where you are when you come to the room you light up everything you make everything better so don't let no one take that away from you this is what i'm seeing here don't let anyone take that away from you okay so tell me more one more please for scorpio wow we have the night sky wow your intuition there's things coming through you with dreams you guys a soulmate connection this is what you don't see um i do have the soulmate connection here i don't know where you lie um you have a twin flame connection and a soulmate connection but this is what you don't see like someone that is going to be emotionally tied to you is coming back towards you and it's being guided back towards you oh uh, wow you have a huge decision to make I feel like a lot of visions, um, a lot of answers are coming to you at night, especially when you sleep or when you're looking at the stars or when you're looking at the moon or when you're in that secret place, you know, that solitude place, that place of that place of peace, that place that you feel like you're protected, your angels are guiding you and your angels are giving you answers too. Ah, oh, such a good card, you know? This is what I have for you. You have number 18, number 7, number 24, number 32. And I feel like if I didn't say it, angels, inspiration, angel of inspiration, angel of communication, angels of past life, angel of the night sky. So you have four different angels like really just guiding you through this mental change. It's like uh, this clarity too within your mind. And it's funny how I said that because the first card is the hermit. You know, you're trying to go up to this hill or this place of solitude, this place that you feel safe and you feel like you're not going to be judged and trying to find out the answers within, within spirituality. And it's funny how you have the magician here as well, the door to spirit. You know, it's time to manifest, it's time to pray, it's time to claim your victory, it's time to claim your power, it's time to get back to who you are as a person because it's been missing for so, so long. That's the vibe that I'm getting here. And I feel like that's the message because all you wanted to do was give a form of love to this person, an overflowing form of love in the King of um, Cups here. 
because you're still open to do this. This is the thing. But there is just something that was missing when it comes to investment time, time. You know, so many chances. This is what I'm hearing. So many chances. Ugh, y'all. This is what I have for you, Scorpio. I hope that it resonates. And happy hump. Well, no, today is Thursday. Um, the videos that uploaded this morning was videos from yesterday. Um, they kind of uploaded late, so I said, you know what, I'm just going to upload them early in the morning. So those were your bonuses. So you do have two other bonuses. Every day you get a bonus. Um, so just know that if the videos are being uploaded at night and you do get your, your singles or your 24, you don't get a bonus. That means a bonus is coming for you. It's just that the internet, you guys, is not easy. I don't know what's going on with Atlanta. Everyone is moving in now. And it's like... You know, the internet is not the same anymore, you know, because a lot of other people are moving in. There's a lot of houses. There's a lot of businesses. And so it doesn't matter who you go to. You still have that problem. Some days when everybody's at work, it's good. But then, you know, later in the day, it's kind of like horrible. So and my schedule is like all over the place. I go with my intuition when I to make videos. I just don't jump out of bed and just do it because I just need to do it. No, I, I do it because I want to do it. So, um, and that's, that's me. Maybe I should have a schedule, but, and, and be, you know, more, more organized, but I just feel like, you know what, if there's a message, then it, it will be said, you know? Um, but anyways, this is what I have for you. I love you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.